Turbine parts are arriving at the Pointe aux Roche wind project near St. Joachim. The 27 turbine farm by International Power will generate nearly 50 megawatts, enough energy for 16,000 homes. I think the one significant thing I really want to stress today is this is the first feed and tariff project that is using all Ontario steel. So I can tell you... smile on his face and that would be David Orizetti, the MPP for Sault Ste. Marie, but I can tell you there's also hundreds of workers uh, at Algoma, and, I believe it's Algoma uh, uh, that you're using, uh, in uh, Sault Ste. Marie uh, that uh, them and their families have big smiles today as well. They're celebrating along with us because the work you're doing here is helping to support their, their very important jobs uh, that they're doing in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, so I want to thank you for that and uh, this is one of the one of the important parts of this project, uh, and, and our feed and tariff program, and our uh, our uh, opportunities to build this clean energy economy, is the fact that we are creating jobs right across this province. Uh, directly here today, I believe it's 126 jobs for Essex County, Mr. Mayor. That's good news for you, and Bruce, congratulations. That's good news for you and your community as well. But uh, through this program. We're creating thousands of clean energy jobs across Ontario for Ontario families at a time, frankly, when I think we need it very, very we much. We want those jobs here in this province rather than in Ohio or over in Europe or somewhere else. We want them here so our families can benefit from them. That's what the Clean Green Energy Act was all about. Uh, that's what our long-term energy plan that I had the privilege of announcing last week is all about. Uh, it's, it's about getting off of coal. And we will be off of coal with absolute certainty by 2014. Our long-term energy plan guarantees it. Duguid says all future wind projects must include 100% Ontario-made steel. Dave Rishi, Blackburn Radio News.